Okay, we're gonna get started now. Hopefully that was enough to get the pre-roll ad out of the way. Well, welcome to the stream. Uh, again, it looks... Hold up here. I don't know what it... There must be a mic limiter in this here Halo collection. <laughs> Let me see. I remember this being an issue with Halo 2, so it might be something that we have to tinker with. But... Let me see if I can take a look, look at their... While I get started on looking at this and seeing if there's something I can do, a um, little background here. I started the Master Chief Collection on stream earlier this year, maybe like back in March or something. Basically, whenever Combat Evolved was uh, released, because since they've had this game on the PC, uh, basically... They have been releasing each of the games in, like, monthly, almost, installments, I want to say. So, we started with Combat Evolved. I skipped... I don't know what the hell's the name of that game? Reach. That's it. Because I played a little bit of Reach on my own, I wasn't really feeling it. And, yeah, just wasn't doing it for me. So, started with Combat Evolved, making my way through. Really excited to get into Halo 3. That was the one I've never played before. And it was the super hyped, uh, Reaches of Meh. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of what I gathered from it. But anyway, super hyped to get the three because three was the one I never played. Three was almost reason enough for me to, uh, try to get a 360, which I never ended up doing, but, um, yeah, I ended up playing that one, I don't know, a few months ago, and then we kind of stopped there. Uh, I gotta be honest... I didn't think 3 was all that great. I thought it was a fine game. I didn't think it was as good as people say it was. I thought 2 was actually better, and I think coming off of 2 and playing 3, yeah, it kind of pales in comparison in my opinion. So I was a little disappointed, and I was going to say maybe that's enough Halo for right now. ODST came out. We were in the thick of doing Grand Theft Auto streams, and... I just didn't feel like coming back to the series at that point in time. However, it's been a few months, and now we are coming up to the release of Halo 4 on PC, which I'm a little interested in playing. I know people shit on it a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, as I said, I never played 3 up, and, you know, I don't know if it's just because... I think Bungie had left at that point, uh, maybe, and 343 took over. I I don't know. I think there, if it, if that is the case, then maybe it's just, you know, people not digging the change in management, as it were. But then I hear, like, years later on that people don't mind 4 as much. Considering 5, uh people shit on way more and when I first got my Xbox I got a game pass and I downloaded a couple games uh Halo 5 being one of them and I was like I haven't played this series in 15 years let me check and see what it's like I didn't like that one that was not one of my favorites uh <laughs> I played no more than three hours and I'm like yeah I think I'm good on Halo 5 however by the time I finish Halo 4, I might want to give it a try just to so we could all see uh, what it's going to be like going through the rest of the series like this. But anyway, none of that's either here nor there at this particular point in time. We are here with Halo 3 ODST. I don't know anything about this game other than people seem to like it a lot, and apparently it's short-ish. So, I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. Either way, um, a bit of a problem that's happened to me is I was playing a little bit of something. What was I playing? Resident Evil 3. And I dropped my controller, and lo and behold, my last micro USB, or is it mini USB? I think it's a mini USB cable up and got destroyed. Those little tips are so goddamn fragile. So this being like my... 12th cable that I've gone through in the past three years. Uh, I said, that's enough. I'm going to get a Bluetooth receiver 
So I ordered it the other day. I'm waiting for it to come in, but I don't have it yet. So until then, I cannot do any GTA 5 because I don't have a controller that works with it. I tried using the DualShock 4, doesn't work. I tried using like my phone cable, which is a mini USB, but that doesn't work with the Xbox controller. I don't know why. Um, and then I tried using the DualShock 3 and I am having way more issues with the DS3 than I was any time before with like San Andreas, Vice City. All the time the controller is freaking out on me and pushing buttons that I'm not pushing. So I can't do it. <laughs> and it's it's a bit of a problem. Um, we could go back to Breath of Fire 2, however, I still feel like I want to do a little more grinding. Haven't had time to do that yet before we get back to it on stream. So I said, why not start a game that I haven't done before? And we're going to do a little, little play through this. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to be terribly long. Maybe that's for the best. But let's get started. ODST has a lot of weird secrets that are still not figured out today. Well, that is going to be far beyond me because I'm not a secret hunter when it comes to the Halo games. At least not on stream. So we'll see. Uh, all right. I think I'm good to go here. Again, let me know what the volume levels are going to be like. For some reason, like I said, Halo Master Chief Collection just freaks out and it does something to the mic volume. It lowers it significantly. And I never know if I'm over the game or not. I lower the volume to 25% with Halo. So hopefully things balance out. I also boosted my own volume uh, by quite a bit. But yeah, we're going to have to tinker with it. So just let me know. Let's go back. Uh, ODST. Oh man, I don't know. Quick start? Yeah, that's fine. Eh, normal is fine. I don't like heroic and halo starting off because the enemies are like bullet sponges and it's not fun for anybody. <laughs> halo still the only first person shooter series that I've ever played where the hard mode is too annoying for me uh, to do right off the bat. Yeah, that guy is in uh, Halo 5. The year is 2552. Oh shit, we're... Uh, I, I didn't catch all that. We are losing. The Covenant have burned our worlds, killing billions in their genocidal campaign. Earth is our last bastion, a carefully guarded secret but not anymore. A Covenant carrier has breached Earth's defenses and attacked the African megacity, New Mombasa. Initial reports confirm major damage and heavy civilian casualties. Now, military leaders of the United Nations Space Command have prepared their response. Teams of highly trained orbital drop shock troopers are ready to assault the carrier from Navy ships in low orbit. This is a near suicidal mission. But these troopers are the best of the best. But they're not Spartans. And saving New Mombasa could be the most important mission of the war. It's a bold claim. But maybe you're right, game. I don't know. The Navy put up a good fight. Of course they did. It's Earth. Better late than never. How about you show some respect, Romeo? Just saying, Dutch. They missed one. No. They left. Dutch! You know the music. Time to dance. Hello, beautiful. Pods. Now. Replacement? This many years into the war? Losing. At least they listen. To me. And they're not gonna like what they hear. Orders are orders. Come on, Monica. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. And Buck? Call me Captain. I'll pass on that dance, but you can show me where to sit. 
What the hell kind of armor was she wearing? Don't know, Mickey. I wasn't looking at her gear. <laughs> Seriously? Well, it's gotta be close quarters. And there ain't much else to look at except for her face. So I'm assuming it's nowhere else. Second to last. Right next to mine. Cozy. You gonna tell us her name, Gunny? Ms. Naval Intelligence. Our new boss. Oh, so check your mouths, find your chairs, and get set for a combat drop. What the hell am I supposed to do with this inside a Covenant ship? Wake up, Buttercup. Relax, rookie. He don't mean nothing. Uh, I don't play as the Nathan Fillion guy. Now's one of those times. Pays to be the strong, silent type. Oh, I'm just nameless hero, man. Also, how's the volume? Are we able to hear the game? Dialogue sounding okay. Latest intel reports Covenant troops are massing beneath the carrier. They're pulling back? Why? I'm not gonna find out way up here. Troopers! We are green! And very, very me! I was doing a test earlier and it was like way overtaking me, but I'll I'll turn it up by a little bit. That was also before I boosted my mic levels, so Okay. Also regarding that comment earlier, it's a side game. I think it's hard to care about when you have when you have a series that's three games in already. I think it's hard to care about, you know, new and upcoming characters uh when, you know, a new game like this pops up. So that's just how it goes, naturally. It ain't Master Chief, so why should I care? Uh, the Nathan Fillion character, too. I think he was in Halo 5. I don't know if he was, like, a mainstay. I thought as the campaign went along, you switch between Master Chief and then, like, this other team. And then the Nathan Fillion guy's in it. But you don't play as him again, I think. Also, they changed his face model to look more like him. I gotta look at the lights again. <laughs> Where is it? Arm explosive bolts to exit pod. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh, that. Okay, it's basically look at the lights. <gasps> oh, four lights! <laughs> the hell? I thought I was supposed to be Orbital Drop Man. No fall could hurt me. Crusty. 
I guess it's not going to look as clean and crisp as the, uh, oh, let's see, Eagle Vision mode. Remakes with two and Combat Evolved. Yeah, it seems like we're going through that. This is a very quiet gun. Is it suppressed? Oh, I guess it is. What is... Oh. Crouch's control. God damn it. That always messes me up. idea. No, I'll leave that up. Why not? Oh, route closed. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, is that not usable? You don't have dual wield anymore? Uh-oh. I guess that's a secret Spartan technique. Only Master Chef can use two guns at once. but they didn't left me no choice. Did it? Okay. I couldn't remember if it saves your control scheme between games. Doesn't look like it does. I might have to change some things here. Um, also, yeah, I'm aware of some of the lore. Let's see, let's see. No, not any of this bindings. There we go. I don't care about chat. Let's see, jump, crouch, menu C, just because it's a little easier. Fire, zoom, zoom in, zoom out, melee. Um, <sighs> yeah, you know what? Q's fine. I'm going to change that to mouse five, though. I don't think those are being used. Let's see if anything's missing. Everything else, I'm sure, is fine. I don't know. Separated from the ODST squad. Contact city superintendent for assistance. Okay, who is superintendent and how can I contact him? Is 
Sort of an interesting location. I mean, Halo 2 had a couple, <clears throat> like, industrial urban sites, uh, not including the Covenant homeworlds, but uh, mostly it seems like with Halo games, um, I mean, up and down arrows. Oh, I see. Uh, that you, you know, Mostly in Halo games, it seems like you're in a rural area. Nav data will help you find your ODST squad. The green arrow indicates your current location. Is that to move the map? That's what I was trying to do earlier. Of course, it wouldn't let me because I didn't progress. Okay. So do we have like different sections of the city? That's interesting. It's like a waypoint location. Okay, go on, continue. Or is that it? That Taylor Plaza. See the beacon beginning your search. No intel data. Press Q or E to check intel data. Rookie. Five, six hours after drop. Excuse me. All mission objectives will be stored here. Objective completed. New intel, data, uh, data, data, whatever. Search Tayari Plaza for ODST squad mates. Q and E to check comm data. You may find comm data hidden around the city. All audio and visual data will be stored here. No, I do not. Thanks. That is very handholdy. When the hell did this game come out? Like 2006? I think most people know how to interact with basic UI functions like that. <sighs> don't, I don't need it, but thank you. Glass this. I'm good. Red. Oh, was that my health? <laughs> Let's change our gun. Run out of ammo on that one pretty soon. Oh no, 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 this is just the red room. You've reached the nav beacon. Search building for a clue for your squad mate's location. Use your visor to conduct a detailed search. Ah, this thing. And these guys look so different in this game. And then they just turn into gorillas by the time Infinity comes out. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I want that one. Ooh, a shotgun. We can only hold one weapon at a time. Kind of sucks. 
gonna give the shotgun a try because I like the shotgun a lot. Yeah, but who cares about the goddamn pistol? Well, I could swap it fine. It's just. I was never a big fan of the pistol in Halo. I want like uh, at least three weapons. That wasn't enough test data. I need I need to continue. Using the shotgun will determine if we can want to use it a little more. Something is pinging. Also, hold up. There was only one vision mode of the visor, correct? I'm wondering if there's like a night vision or something. It's awfully dark in here. Like, it, it, it illuminates a little bit, but it's still, I don't know, a little too dark in my opinion. Okay. It's a little unusual. Maybe my caption for the stream was correct in that this might be the oddest of the Halo bunch, but uh, very a very soft start. Feels eh, the combat. I mean, notwithstanding, it feels different from other Halo, even Reach. Reach to me just felt like a watered down version of the mainline games with slightly annoying people. Oh wait, do we switch off between characters? Or is this something else? I regret about you and me not knowing you were a spook when we first met. I would have been a lot less charming. That's what I missed most about you, Buck. Well, your mouth was always a little faster than your brain. Look, don't start about my job. We both agreed to end it. That was years ago, Veronica. I'm a little fuzzy on it. Uh, details. Must have met a lot of other saps since then. Why pick me for the safari? First, you're the best soldier I know, and second, Remember, that night? What you asked me in the morning? I remember not getting an answer. Say again, Buck. You're breaking up. I said stay put. I'm on my way. We missed uh, the visor we blacks out. I appreciate the concern. Okay, so we do switch characters. That's interesting. Dares or Dare? I don't know if we've covered the pronunciation on our name yet.
Ooh, look at these cars. Nice and fancy. I was going to say after the cutscene, I was just about to complain that, of course, you know, big name actor is going to have his face revealed, even if it doesn't really look anything like him. But uh, the visor blacks out, so I guess that's fine. Oh, this is just another pistol? I thought this was like some sort of hand cannon deal. Is that a theremin in this soundtrack? I don't know, maybe it's chorus. Hmm. I think there was another assault rifle way back up top there, but I don't really feel like going all the way back, so... I guess I'll just stick with this thing. Eh, you get up there. Yeah, this guy's back. I saw your pod hit. You're one lucky SOB. See any more come down? Ah, negative. But I didn't see much of anything after that flash. Uh, but listen, some of these buildings are open. Should be able to get inside. Flank the Covenant on the streets. Roger that. Thanks. Ever since Attack of the Clones, everybody gotta have, like, the fake New Zealander. Sorry. Oh, I thought that was a gun. It's just a leaf. So I was never too big on the plasma pistol. Sorry. There's a lot of weapons I don't really care for in the Halo series. I feel like that was one of them. But might not have a choice. Ooh. <laughs> I think he died on the way up here. This is the thing I was thinking of with the brute shot when I first picked up that weird looking pistol.
Like I just like charge. Okay. Headlong in there. Let's see, I need something else. Oh, what do we have here? Ah, oh, shit. That was either Kamikaze or I killed him mid throw. <sighs> All right, I guess I'm fine with my setup. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured happened. Oh, a grenade. Oh, wait, no. Can't pick those up. We're full up on frag. Oops. Hit my pop filter. Health kit, don't need that. I can't interact with? Okay. I think that's just a door panel. What is this? It's nothing, I guess. I think I just gave away my position. Veronica, what's with all the dead elites? What do you mean? Well, it's like a family feud, like they were killed by brutes. Is there something I should know? It's classified. Yeah, some things never change. Back in my mind, I was thinking they're going to keep that aspect of things, right? There's not going to be like any elites that pop out. And I was like, well, surely. I mean, this game is still called Halo 3 ODST, so it should fit in with the canon. Oh, that one sounded sassy. Oh, sniper up there. Seems kind of dumb, but then at the same time, when, during the course of Halo 3, it didn't really look like Marines, Navy, whatever you want to call whatever faction was doing what, had a whole lot of interaction with the elites, so. Oh yeah? Where were you a minute ago? Still someone up there? Can't tell. Guess it doesn't matter. Now oh, these guys are rolling with the pistol. Shit. Keep trying to do a lean. Like I was doing with the uh, beer not too long ago. Uh, let's try this. Is there somebody up here? Shit. You know what? Maybe I don't like you as melee. feel for that key you know I'm gonna change that because I I keep messing up with the grenade toss too I think mostly because I was just playing fear not that long ago again space bars melee I don't think I've ever done that
Uh, I'm going to switch to this one. Throw a grenade is G. Yeah, but what about jump? I know not every first person shooter has a jumping mechanic, but I don't know. Spacebar has always been jump to me. Gotta get through this door. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Yeah, right on the front of the door. Trooper, we're pinned down. Cut through this building. Hit him from behind. I couldn't tell your nationality at first. Actually, I'm still not sure. <laughs> Activity below. Contact. Tango's picking in. A lot more, you guys. What the hell is that? Oh, I think it's an SMG. Same gun that the nameless rookie man hero was using. Whoa, Jesus. This thing has a zoom? Oh, maybe it's just for like early looking.
Didn't have too much with that one. something else. I'll take that because we all know how I love my distance fighting. Close calls, but not too bad. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've stumbled on the perfect spot for some secrets, but I, mean, I guess I don't consider a shotgun much of a secret. I knew that. Oh, that's superintendent. This was the big hubbub. Could have taken a few more steps forward before diving like that. What the heck was that? You ever seen one before? Hey, Romeo, you got your ears on? Oh, I get it. Permission to speak, smart ass. No, I don't know what it was, but it was gonna grease your ass good. Just like it did the captain. Yeah, maybe. You're from Mickey, Dutch? Negative. The rookie. We need to get above this crap. Link with the B net. One of our drones must have seen where they hit. So we're popping smoke in the lady's mission? Did she ever tell you what she wanted? No. Never. Doesn't matter. All I care about now is getting my men out of this city. Even you. Even you. 
All right, I guess that's it's just a recounting of how that helmet got jammed in that panel there. Still, I don't mind the character switching. Especially with an ensemble cast. I'd rather have fewer people in separate stories than just have everybody in a big group. Because that usually just becomes a bigger mess. Or, you know, people don't get enough development. Maybe someday. So wait, do we just go back? The preserve last now location on DST squad main. Not the beacon marker in your compass to continue. I see. somber music. Which is very out of the norm for a Halo soundtrack. several times that it's there if I need it but I don't want it so don't tell me to use it I wasn't hearing it before, but uh, I hear it now. Shoot the big... Uh, I guess that explains why they have super shields. that's going to do anything at this range. So I was using the pistol in the first place. Let's see if we can find another gun. That'll work. 
working out, not working out. It's fine when I'm fighting the grunts, but pistol ain't worth the shit with anything else. Even want something a little better than this. Was there a. I feel like there was one of those long range rifles around here somewhere. Not the needler. I think that's where I grabbed the shotgun from. Eh, whatever. Let's see if the AR can get it done, and if not, then... Oh well. Does the checkpoint? That's interesting. Ah, shit. Well, I guess there's a ramp up here. Are they just gone? Hmm. That's interesting. game code didn't account for going back. Re-entering an area. Game, you'd be Resident Eviling all over. <laughs> I guess so. Tell me what to do. Free tickets. Well, there we go. Mombasa welcomes you. Anxious? Stressed? Please remain calm. Control circuits now open. That's what I've been looking for. Hello, traveler. The Mombasa Transit Authority welcomes you to Kikowani Station. How may I serve? One ticket to Old Mombasa, please. Here's my card. Oh, no. Scrap that. Traceable. Damn it. Coins. I need coins. Thank you. What is your final destination? Magongo. If I don't get caught, hell if I do. Thank you. Transport for one, two, Magongo. Let's go, let's go. Please collect your tickets. Wait! Hold the doors, please! All aboard. Train number four. Oh, that was City close. Center, two, Old Mombasa, now departing. Next stop, Makufa, Nairobi Road, Hope Station, and Magongo, end of the line. Almost there. Almost. Emergency stop. Please remain calm. Emergency stop. Please remain calm. Found me. <laughs> Bass, accurate diagnosis. Or your money back. Oh, the Opticon. Did they do on site laser eye surgery?
Green door. I don't know if that's exactly where I need to go. Looking at the HUD, though. shield things. something. What? Where? Alright, there's one bastard way the hell up there. Consider life. No. <laughs> Get on with the multiplayer strats. Stupid thing gone. His goddamn shield was so strong. Oh no.
Shit. Can I actually get health from this thing? <laughs> I guess not. It's like, need a medical assistant. Yes, I do. Whoa, what is that? Ah! Oh, that confused me for a second. <laughs> it's like, this game is way too goddamn dark if I can't even see a guy right in front of me. But no, he got a cloaking device. Not this shit again! People really got problems with their eyesight in the future. Just opt to con scan things everywhere. He slipped into cover. Yeah. I'll be right there. Keep coming. Not you, but well, you you too. Bitch. Okay. That was a little rough. Something coming down. Oh. One of those. Yeah. Nah. I think I'm good. In these open world areas, doesn't seem to be serving me much purpose. Except when a brood is running after me, and even then. 100% guaranteed to get a kill even at mid to close range. crap like most modern art question is was the smoldering heap there before the covenant attack or after I can't just like pass through that now okay Negative. We need to get above this crap. Link with the B net. One of our drones must have seen where they hit. I can like use the force or something to see past events when he touches objects. It's a good skill to have.
Good hunting, boys. I'm keeping my boots on the ground. Hmm. Why don't we put that away for right now? Link up with friendly forces and friendly faces. It's a cool garbage can. Zebra trash can and zebra benches. Trooper, over here, help us secure this vehicle. It's important. Oh, I only do important things here. Oh god. This guy's like grade A military. Changing mag! No one cares. Thanks for the assist, trooper. Get this warthog moving. Our CO needs us to clear this sector. Excuse my psychic ability to do it from three meters out. Oh, classic warthog. Watch that chopper. Let's go for a ride, boys. Still can't run people over in this game. It's dead. Oh, there's another one. Nah, maybe we shouldn't concentrate on that. Son of a bitch. I was moving. How do they flip the warthogs if they don't have human strength? Get shot at by giant enemy tanks. Reconvene. There's way too much heat in that area. Duty, sir. Nice of you to drop in, trooper. Head to the 
park to my second platoon's location. <laughs> I see what he did there. Because they're drop troops. I'll go with this guy. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to be tongue in cheek or completely serious. Hold up, hold up. Something interesting going on here. It's another ice station. I'm taking the other route since those guys seem to be fine handling themselves. as straight a shot as I can, but, you know. Not the medical worker! Hold up. Let me see. Start and ready. Oh, are they gone? Never mind, then. I guess once we took out one of them, they freaked out. <laughs> Where the hell did that guy come from? these little things they have like these energon cubes I tried shooting one earlier didn't really do anything reloading it's got a turret no 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 take out the turret Um, maybe I should just be like super heavy a man, even though I'm sure I'll regret it. I'm gonna take it with me. Big green rocket launcher for the Covenant. What is the objective, Colonel? something I got shot 
shotgun. Let's go for a ride. Ready when you are. Hey, I was gonna drive. Oh, sorry. That's my spot. See that rock coming up. Oh. Shotgun. Checkpoint relatively close. Nobody could take that again. Target down. Get up. I don't think so, asshole. Classic rocket launcher. Can we still destroy these things? Yes, we can. Very good. What are we shooting at? On my last bag. <laughs> exactly. That guy just basically said, shut up. distance to drop from. Oh, this guy doesn't like freak out from moderate heights. There's an entrance on the side. Well, that's... Oh. It didn't look functional. These ghosts are a little shinier than the uh, usual ones. Uh-oh. 
How big do you think that thing is? I thought, that, I thought that flipped over one was that car. I'm like, all right. I'm distracted too, but still. Colonel, sir. Damn, it's gone. Trooper, head up the hill. You gotta find a way out of this park. I'm in like the mid 2000s. I think it was. I don't know, maybe 2005 ish. People were talking about the next big space project uh, that there was gonna be a space elevator to the moon. I'm like, no. sound plan, I guess. <laughs> it's basically never any form of fruition came about that with that. Roll over my fox trot. Get yourself fox trotted. Just now remember this thing had like a super speed mode. <laughs> Noticed a lot of this Tetris block just kind of hanging around. Respect for the rookie because he's fucking quiet. <laughs> yes. Down. Ah, two for one. Mind if a character talks? In fact, I encourage it because I just got so sick of the silent but deadly main character fucking meme. So sick of that. It was like when Resistance came out and Nathan Hale was like an actual talking protagonist and a first person shooter. I was like, holy shit, thank God somebody broke the mold finally. Um, but this guy almost seems like a, <laughs> he's like a parody. Conversation they're having there. 
Okay. Uh, we need to go up here. Very good. I wasn't sure where the path was. Uh, uh, coming for you. What is that? smaller vehicles if you can't outmaneuver the big ones. any more flying to do today. So, was that a yes or a no? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> what is this guy's campaign? Is everything, everything's a joke? Well, that campaign was the most like a previous Halo game. I, mean, I guess these other sections are fine too. It seems like with the rookie, it takes the biggest like offshoot in terms of gameplay because you have open world-ish type area to go through. It's mostly slow. So far, it's the only segment I've seen where you can pick up an audio file. So, and then you have like these big battles here and there. So Rookie definitely seems like the most different in terms of actual gameplay, but in terms of like tone, I don't know, maybe. It was like if you take any of the, any like given the soldier from a random Halo game and just follow that one guy. <laughs> and if he was capable of taking care of himself and not dying. That might be what it's like. Because, honestly, just your average Marine is, in any other Halo game, is like, you know, a parody <laughs> of like the you know, aliens, uh, colonial Marines, or, you know, something to that effect. So, um, I am actually going to stop here because I started a little bit late, so I was expecting this to be a short-ish stream, uh, but enjoying it so far. It's definitely a different Halo game, but it's not bad. Gameplay is still sound, so... Oops. I can appreciate that. Also, give me a sec so I can... Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> Again, volume inconsistencies. I think Halo does something to like lower, like maybe it has a built-in compressor. I don't know, but I hate it. And uh, it messes with the volume. So as soon as I exit it, hey, out of Halo, the volume just shoots back to where it originally was. But since I have to boost it so I can be heard over the game, it goes way overboard. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for tonight. Again, short stream, a little bit shy of a regular one, but that's okay. Uh, I will be back soonish, hopefully tomorrow. Maybe we'll do some more ODST. I might just keep with this 
until either I'm finished grinding in Breath of Fire 2 or I get the Bluetooth uh, USB receiver so that I could use my Xbox One controller because apparently it's the only one that works. I suppose I could, you know what, I might, I don't know. I remember a friend was looking for this recently and he couldn't find a decent one. But I might try to look into getting a wired uh, 360 controller, like an OEM, non-Chinese manufactured that's going to break in two months, like Microsoft original wired controller. And uh, we'll see if I can get that done. Because like I said, I am just sick and tired of all of these mini and micro USB cables just breaking on me. Actually, it's one of, one of them is more fragile than the other. It's the one that's got the skinnier uh, male plug-in. It just annoys me. I dropped it from um, no greater than a, maybe a foot and a half. And the thing just bends out of place and I can't get it back into a position where it's actually usable. So frustrating. Like I said, I've been through like a dozen of these cables in the past couple of years. So it's a pain in the ass. I'm sick of spending money on it. So we'll see. Grand Theft Auto soon. Kind of want to get that finished uh, within the next couple of weeks here so that we can start off into some new games. I've gotten a lot in the past couple months that I want to get started on. So we'll see. But at least we're starting something new here. Either way, that's going to be it for me. So thank you for watching and I'll be back when I'm back. Until then, have a good night.